Yeah, because I was going quite well with back row in school, and um, I think we were just we were, we were a bit loose with backs in turn year. So I tried. I had a chat with Des Thornton, my senior club coach at the time, and I said I'd give it a crack. So uh, I went out there and it went all right. So pretty much just went from there and skills it was okay but then in my last year I just felt it wasn't really going as well but was brought into the academy so um but yeah but I prefer a back row okay. it was obviously I was having a bit of a tough time at Leinster um probably wasn't enjoying rugby which uh, like the odd time of question was it for me um moved into center obviously from back row and I was just like oh, I'm not really I'm not really a center thinking th just like training and stuff with them and uh, decided the old man he said, why don't you try down here, go back into back row, play club rugby, not much to lose. So gave it a go and just loved it, loved it. I didn't really hear anything from Leinster, nothing about academy, nothing really about that. Oh, there was a little bit of content. They were kind of saying, like, you should do another year and see what happens. And because I was young, I was at Pesty again. And they were kind of saying, I'll oh, see what happens, just play, play one more year at school and go from there. But I wasn't keen on doing that, I don't want to get out, I just wanted to leave. So my dad found this place online, well here, IHPU, online, well helped with Tony Smead from Trinity. He sent, because Trinity used to send players over here too. And then Tony Smead told my dad about it and then my dad told me about it. And of course I was pretty keen on doing it. It was only for a month because it was, by that time it was the end of the season. And they ended this season here, and um, yeah, and then just went from went over here. Yeah. Just, just applied for it, and then just got placed and just left two day, the day of my last exam. I had to play before June, become a local player here. So you only the rep season's only allowed to have four loan players. So to play to become a local, you got to play in their club season before June. So I played the 30th of May, I think it was. Qualified for the loan, um, played the club season, ended up winning with the club season with Border, and then um, got paid for the rep side. And then since then, I've been playing for the Wanganui side. You obviously just playing with uh, Terry you just think of playing it with Leinster. So that's when I got released. So I was like, geez, there's, no, there's nowhere else to go. But obviously. There's a whole, whole wider range of things to do, so. I reckon I've done a lot better because here they have like skill sessions at the end, you have different blocks that you have to do. Everything's, like here they encourage offloads, they do everything. And because of that, of course I kept doing it and then the more I did it, the better I got. And of course you have to keep practicing to get into the bigger teams and the bigger teams you do, they keep training it. So, so I reckon my skill level has gotten a whole lot better than what it was. Oh. Fast. It's the first word that comes to it. Fast and yeah, it's just fast attacking rugby. Not so much defensively because uh, they just love scoring tries and attacking rugby. So yeah, mainly just fast and quicker. It took me a while, even at club rugby, to settle into how quick it was. So he just run from everywhere. I came on. I hadn't played. I played 40 minutes since Christmas when I came down here in May, and I think my first game I didn't kick the ball once. And those ran everything, played 80 minutes and they ran everything. I've never been so tired in my life. I don't want to sound too like negative about Northern Hemsworth. I think it's just sk skills is massive over here. Like my time with Lancer, I found that like they'd substitute a academy skill session with a gym session, which was quite frustrating because my skills weren't improving. So over here, it's like we'd have I'd say after every single session, we'd have time to work on our skills, 20 minute slots. So they're all about just improving, handling, um, tackle tech, all high ball, kind of like everything. So even if you're a front row, you have to catch a high ball, all those kind of things. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's skills before, before size over here. So what, that's something I've really enjoyed. Yeah, at home, if you see a prop, you're like, you can kind of rush up on them because you know you won't burn you. You can't do that here. Like, everyone has the potential to step you, everyone has the potential to burn you. It's just, you, have, you can't stereotype any players, because they're, they're all, they all have something special about them. It was pretty daunting coming out here on my own, because I didn't know anyone. And also the fact that um, the earthquakes happened two years before, so there was no city. 
Like the city now you see today was, it's way bigger than it was. Like when I first came here, you drive through the city and there were still planes. There was nothing up, nothing, absolutely no, there was no, there was hardly any nightlife. There was absolutely nothing in the city to do. So it was obviously cool for me at the beginning because it was a new city, new country. I want to be here, I want to play. If you want to improve as a player, I think there's no better country to come to. I mean, they'll give you an opportunity, they'll work with you the whole way. Um, yeah, I couldn't recommend it more. I mean, I just came over here looking for a bit of club rugby. Wasn't, wasn't expecting to get with Manama too. And uh, yeah, I think it's just definitely a, a place to come to if you're in a situation where you're in limbo. So that's where I was and uh, yeah, came out here and it's been an unreal experience. Like everyone's just so welcoming. Like we've, like every week we get a new invitation to someone's house for dinner and stuff like that. Um, worked in the Raven company and everyone there who wouldn't be massive rugby players but would love rugby um, welcomed me and would have like invited me to dinner and stuff like that. Um, then went out to meet works and that was an experience but again, everyone was so nice. They just like we we were sitting down, me and Steve were sitting down for lunch one day and one of the lads, Oh, do you play golf? I'm like, Yeah, yeah we haven't played since we got over here. Oh well, I've got two sets of clubs in my house. If you want to borrow them, fire ahead. And we're, like it's just kind of like if you need it and I have it, I'll give it to you. Like if I'm not using it. It's like everyone's just so welcome and wants to help you like. Which is it's um, it's lovely to see. I get a good bit of stick. Good bit of stick for the accent and things like that. The way I talk, yeah. But nah, I'd consider myself except. Thank you.